we're going to check out the fish room. Let me go ahead and address this issue real quick. It's the only problem I see with these egg tumblers is that the little suction cups aren't the greatest with these. Abilities after a while, and I started to run my um, started to run these egg tumblers without the air stone in them. It's less uh, back pressure on your system. It just, I mean, you basically have the same effect as you can see right here with these. They work just as good. Will be red empress are coming along real nice. Platinums. Those are almost ready to be released. And there's some bad eggs in there with the blue dragons, but. Species. See, we got one, two free swimmers in there. So here's the newer project for the fish room. I need to get more <coughs> space. So I'm gonna have to uh, move this center post back a little bit. So just like. This whole rack had to get moved over, then this 90 and 55 gallon rack had to get moved over, and this one had to get moved over to make room for this one. The same thing will happen with the bagging table, which I'm not 100% on the bagging table. band on for the GoPro. It makes it a lot easier filming in the fish room, that's for sure. So, the bagging table might have to get reduced down to something smaller. Something to go over here in front of my heater furnace. Um, so this one here will have to come flush over to here spot here from the basement the uh, old foundation might have to just fill this in with a little bit of concrete and um, slide this over so this leg here is more on top of that this stuff I bet can just go a lot of it was for the gecko in there So this one can move over about about a foot. I have to excuse this mess right here. <clears throat> um, and then I can move this uh, support post. Will end up basically right here, which will give this. This is kind of the newer project I got working on right now. This is. Uh, 60, I believe, or a 65 and then a 29. These are two tanks I had given to me. Both center braces were broke. Um, it's a pretty easy fix on the center braces that are broke like this. As you can see with these ones, let me get this out of the way. This is spirulina fish food. So, both pieces got fixed with just a piece of glass and this will allow your tank not to bow out. 
so basically you just cut your piece of glass the the width from end to end on the inside here and a good way to do this is lay your piece of glass on the outside put it to this line and put it to that line or cut on this line or you know if you're right-handed you'd cut on this side or left-handed you'd cut on this side and you just need a real cheap little glass cutter I just got mine on eBay and then put your glass down in there and bring it up silicone and silicone underneath and then I do a nice bead on the top and there's your your new center brace same thing with this one did the same thing here these tanks are all ready to go I should re-silicone them because that's what I always usually do but for this one these two are just going to be grow out tanks because I plan on in 2022 doing a lot of swaps up in Chicago so I need more grow out spaces a lot of the fish are growing out really really nice these are the albino saffrons and some of the Turkish Here's the uh, breeding project I'm working on. These guys, I need to get these guys breeding. I don't know really what the big major issues going on in here, but you know, I, I've even flopped stuff around. I've did you know a little bit of water change, massive amount of water change. You know, I've try a different couple other tricks if you guys have some other tricks let me know but when I first got this uh, breeding group it took me forever to get them to spawn so I don't know maybe their um, their cycles are pretty far off so, so that's the newer news with these guys I'll build a stand probably next year for these and um, get these tanks up and running the only issue I will have and you know I won't I don't know if I should just run a piece of PVC because here's part of the loop system right here if I can run just straight over or you know I just tap in here and tuck the airline under something and then down Maybe I'll just do that. Because I did the same thing over here. And I believe it was for uh, two tanks right here. And then these two are for the 75 down here. So I got gifted a whole bunch of tanks just for free from my orthodontist. And I think the other 75 gallon I'm gonna put on top. I know it's always gonna, it's just gonna ruin the view because I like the view coming into the fish room like this. But I think I'm gonna put another 75 on top of here um, for the, the purpose of growing out. You know, if anybody that's interested in a yellow lab and the Mason Eye group get a hold of me I think I'm gonna have this group uh, for sale just for uh, more grow out space and then I believe I'm gonna just have a small bagging table right here and have shelves underneath of it and stuff just for like um, for a lot of my bagging stuff you know I have the scale here and whatever Looks like we got another holding blue dragon female. Which is always good. Yeah, she's holding. That's awesome. It's part of the winter breeding project. This blue dragon right here. Looking really good. Alright, so... This is the first video with the uh, POV. 
with the GoPro. So, hope you guys like it. Give me a thumbs up, comment in, in the description if you know you want more future videos like this. Because this way I can do a lot more hands-on stuff. Um, stripping of the, the cichlids and uh, building stands and uh, general maintenance on the tanks and just walking through stuff. All right, thank you all for checking out the video and thanks for all my subscribers. God bless.